Many Thermo printers have been around for a couple of years now, and we've checked out a few variants from companies like Fomemo, which have been just really cute, but also surprisingly useful for documenting quick notes, labeling things around the house, as well as just being able to print out some quick black and white photos. So the entire process doesn't require an ink cartridge inside, but rather it just heats the paper itself to create the images. However, today we'll be taking a look at another competitor from a brand called Nimbot. This is their B21, and arguably it's the most stylized version of a mini thermal printer that we've seen yet. It actually resembles almost a mini, I would say, typewriter in terms of its design, which is just extremely cute comes in a number of different colors from black to red here that is super vibrant and otherwise those still functions like any other smart mini printer allowing you to document again text barcodes you can actually print out QR codes as well as of course photos and create things like name tags things for organizational purposes it sells for around 65 bucks which is not bad some other specs that we are talking about include that it has a built-in battery of 1200 milliamp hours which claims to work up to four hours of continuous printing. Specs also include it can print up to 60 millimeters a second and it includes a roll of 50 by 30 millimeter printer paper included but again you can always replace that with more. They can be found for just a few dollars for a complete roll that you can then pop in. Accessories that you get include just a quick user guide along with a charging cable that is just a standard USB type C. And taking a closer look at the design, it really is a beautiful printer. It has a lot of decorative accents, which make it look really convincing as a miniature typewriter. It's just very retro in terms of the vibe with these chrome accents. And there's just a simple power key in the front along with a pretty analog styled power indication LED light. The printer paper, of course, comes out from the top, and we also can press down here to pop open the lid in which you're able to replace the thermal printer paper. This one here is their fruity decorative pattern 30 by 70 millimeter roll, uh, which as that name kind of implies, it has a colorful texture on the label itself. The text will still be black and white, but of course the color here is just from the paper, which is going to be a little bit more cheerful. Alternatively, here's another roll which is completely translucent. So as you print on it, you can then stick it on something and it will become see-through. So you've got a bit of that versatility and both of these rolls will sell for around $8 a pop. A final look here, we also get the charging port located on the edge, which is again USB Type-C, and then just some soft touch rubber feet at the very bottom to prevent it from sliding around. As a final size comparison with some of those other models that we have here, the Perry Page, for instance, these are going after a little bit more of a cute vibe, I would say, more modern and simplistic. And then the mnemonic from Samsung is also along the same lines, but it's considerably larger in terms of volume and doesn't have a built-in battery. Like the other models though, this one is still meant more for decorative use, the emphasis here being still on portability as a pocket printer. Interestingly, there's two apps that you can find in the store, and the first one here just allows you to quickly connect to the printer, check out the battery percentage remaining, as well as take a look at what templates that you can find for different types of purposes. So they give you a catalog here, for instance, for supermarket, you can find, say, ones here for labeling things, you have options for jewelry tags, as well as under general, you'll find some more selection here, but a lot of these tags seem to be more aim towards the Chinese market, but of course you can always find other options which are not necessarily labeled, just creating some decorative borders uh, before you then print things out. Under your own profile, you can check and see if there's any firmware updates, and then under new, you're able to create your own custom printout. You can also change things like the font size. You do have the ability to print out, again, QR codes and barcodes of your choice, spreadsheets and mini tables, as well as aforementioned images. We can also customize how many copies I want to print out, but they're all relatively fast in terms of sending things over to the printer. And unlike an inkjet-based printer, everything is instantly dry and won't really rub off either. Although, again, everything is black and white. So things like emojis might still look a little bit weird depending on the contrast. Now let's try printing something like a mini photo and see if it fares just a little bit better. So there we go. This one indeed is much smoother. And now we have to practice this tear one more time. Usually going a little bit faster tends to maybe work better, but you have to be careful of not ripping the actual paper. But here we go. This is the result of the image. Still a little bit small, but of course details can still be made out. Again, these thermal Printers will never get you the highest technical quality compared to regular printers. However, it still is good enough for getting you a cute memory that is preserved. And again, very versatile because of how small and compact it is. And as a label, 
uh, it does look actually relatively decent for then decorating, organizing things. The app does also give us some pretty interesting editing options, including what they call a mirror mode, which is creating an inverse copy of the photo. Some other features here include some built-in symbols, which you're able to print out for various things like pricing, uh, as well as being able to choose between things like apparel. These might be helpful for organizational purposes. Timestamps can also be printed. For instance, if you're selling something like food and you want to create an expiration date, that can also be neat and it can use real time as the kind of printed text there. And of course, we can also create something like a QR code. So on here, you'll have to enter the content first, aka whatever website link you want to print out. And afterwards, it will generate the corresponding QR code for you to then print out. So let's say I want to print this right now. It will just be kind of a sample QR, but you can see all that the overall text is still legible. And then the second app, which is called NIM, is actually a little bit more of a social type of app. Other owners can share the labels that they've created, and you can view it in the gallery for you to then download that template and print it out, which is actually pretty cool. So more custom font sizes and kind of creative stickers that you might find interesting. So for instance, we want to print out something like hand soap. Here is another text that someone has created. This app also gives us a little bit more of a granular breakdown in terms of the different types of items that you want to be labeling. Now, one other feature that this this particular app unlocks is also a graffiti mode. So you're able to create uh, kind of your own scribbles on top of the artwork and decorate it that way. Now let's try printing on a translucent label. So we have changed the actual label that we're using. Again, also we can change the orientation of the print. That still looks, again, extremely clear and legible. It can work also for different types of packaging, giving a more professional effect, say if you're trying to sell some food or cookies and you can pop it on top and still see the object on the inside. So it really is quite interesting how that kind of crystal or really thermal ink, I should say, is embedded into this translucent paper. And now for changing it into the fruity roll type, you can see that the actual labels are thinner than the other ones that we've tried there. So the tip here is actually to use these two sides that are on the inside of the printer to stabilize the roll so it doesn't move around while you're printing. Interestingly, using their own labels, it's able to recognize what paper is inside automatically, which is pretty smart. So right now it's told us that the consumable has been changed to the Fruity Party 70 by 30 millimeter label. So that smart recognition, instead of forcing you to change the properties of the photo every time that you change cartridges, is actually done very well. But of course, you can also do that yourself by going into settings if it gets the detection wrong or if you're purchasing a generic third-party receipt paper to use yourself. But anyways, let's try using this, again, fruity paper template. And there we go, that also works quite well. It's printing out vertically now, uh, but also we get the same convincing effect in terms of the quality of the images. Finally, here's just to look at some other commercial applications. Again, using this on, let's say, a paper bag, creating your own logos for food packaging. It can all just look really attractive, even on perfume. All right, so that's more or less it as far as our hands-on review of this uh, Nimbot B21 Mini Thermal pocket printer and I have to say uh, overall the way that it works is very similar to those other models that we've seen in the past. It isn't necessarily better in terms of the quality of the prints but it is very legible and consistent when it comes to text details. But what makes this one I think just a little bit more fun and attractive is just the design. It just makes it seem more polished, uh, more fancy and really attracts the attention as a conversation starter. A lot of different applications but I think primarily as a label printer it's a really strong option. So you can check out more details if you're interested in the links down below but for now that's been our video thanks for watching here at os reviews a very attractively designed mini thermal printer that's been the b21